Good morning, good evening to everybody. It's really a strange situation. It's my first show with uh, Raf Simons. And instead of being here with all our friends in the industry or our community, um, we are alone. But in fact, what is really exciting that we are not alone at all because now we are with so many more people and that's very new at least <laughs> for me. I, there are two or three things that I want to say that are maybe, maybe in, the, in the question, you don't ask this question, um, and there are mainly three. One is the relationship with technique, machine, that is something that I always want in Kai to ignore but not giving the real importance before. And during the lockdown, we all realized, and mainly I realized how important uh, technology is and how it's impactful for us and like in some ways kind of an extension of ourselves. So one thing that was very important was the relationship between the technology uh, machine and the girl. Uh, the second, that we have the occasion to really show clothes because we can't see the, the, the real girl, the real people, the real public. But at least with the excuse, or because we are doing a small film, uh, we hope you can enjoy and see maybe the clothes better, which is a very important point for the two of us. And uh, the third one, because I feel I, I, I have to, in case no one asks, uh, I want to underline how important is uh, uh, sustainability and inclusivity. Uh, it, it's something that is becoming really now very, very important for companies, for each person. And I think that um, we should, in the, each of us should really embrace it and think about it. Once uh, I, some, I read somewhere, go home and do the home task, which I think is uh, what I decided to do. So to really not only declaring it, but really trying little by little to to be better. So now I said my little introduction. <laughs> well, welcome everybody. As Mil just said, of course, we share these thoughts very much. And we had this idea to have a conversation with everybody who could possibly be interested to have a conversation with us, obviously not live. So we thought about this system of uh, asking everybody to send questions if they feel like that we could uh, then answer. So welcome to the talk and uh, let's shoot. So this is the first question. How long have you wanted to work together? Vlad from Kiev. Uh, actually, it came out kind of spontaneously. Uh, in different interviews in the past, I thought we we said, ah, why not? Why not working together one day? And all in a sudden, uh, when day it happened. So I don't, I don't know how long really, how long ago. Um, I, I think it never really occurred to me that this could possibly hap happen, but I have to say I'm extremely happy with it. Um, I think we've always been um, very interested in each other's work. And obviously we met quite a long time ago already because uh, Muja and Mr. Bartelli uh, offered me the position at Jill Sander many years ago, for which I still want to thank you very much because <laughs> it was my introduction to women's wear. And we kind of always stayed in touch one way or another. And as Muja said, like it always kind of felt good. And, and so when the question came, uh, there was no doubt. So in, in in that sense, Vlad, I can answer your question like probably for as long as I know Mujia and her work. Uh, at the same time, well, since we just started. Uh, this one? I find this one easy to yes. answer. Yes. Yeah. I can only say it's very natural. It comes To me, it comes very natural and um, it's not like easier or more hard for me. It's I feel very at ease in the situation. No, ex exactly. I think that is easier probably because you can share maybe more than you're used to share. 
uh, but maybe it takes more energy because uh, you're, you, you're not alone, so you have to share. So uh, maybe that is more difficult, but not in a difficult way. Yeah. It is just more interesting, probably. Decision making is, uh, for me, strengthened when I know that Mujal likes very much what I also like very much. So even if I'm convinced, my decision is strengthened when I know that she's convinced and the other way around. Yes, for me, for me too, very, very much. That is very, like say, consoling or give, give more strength that somebody that you really trust uh, share the same idea, feel, you, feel, you feel very much stronger. So in that sense, for me, it's uh, easier um, emotionally and psychologically and intellectually and maybe it's more hard because you have more dialogue yes. and that can also impact timing of course but um, all by all I find it easier yes at the end me too but so you have far. to but uh, <laughs> so far I'm should, so far yes no <laughs> but then after I think uh, it will be more interesting because we have really we had really little time to work together because of the corona. Mm. Anyway, you arrived because of the corona later than, than we thought. So we had mainly just go direct and work and, <laughs> and be instinctive. So I'm sure that we will have time to, to think more and to discuss more. Yeah, ab absolutely. Is anything <coughs> authentically new anymore or is everything regenerated? Mm, that's a good one. New is the nightmare of every single designer, probably, or at least it was always for me. But I think that probably is not so relevant anymore because uh, uh, now seems that, I don't know if for Corona or not for Corona, uh, everybody has to express uh, the deep thoughts of, of a person, of a brand. And so probably the new, just for the sake of doing new doesn't sound the most important word. But of course, this is what every designer is always uh, trying to do. I think fashion in general kind of uh, hopes always for the new. And as Mucha said as well, every designer wants to be new. But I think when you are in it for a longer time, let's say, few decades, it's important to be able to refresh your own body of work. And me personally, I feel like the pure definition of new for me means like it's really something we've never seen before. I think it's, it is, it's, a, it's a new person coming in. It's a young, new generation coming in. They should bring new. and. New is something that, of course, you always thought when you look at a movie, when you read a book, when, and our present is done with our past. So new, new, new probably is not impossible except for incredible revolution. For instance, the mini skirt when there was the um, women liberation. So new is, is never, is somehow is impossible. That's what I think. It's something that, of course, it's, it's our worry all the time in general, but I think that probably is not so relevant. It's a, it's a very interesting question, but very difficult because it really depends how you define new also. Ah, of you course. Know, how, of course. How, how new, like never seen before, complete revolution. I always thought We will that only know when it's there. I always thought that also um, asking to fashion designer to do the revolution, F fashion, not follow the reality, it's part of creating uh, the changes of the people, so it's part of things happening in the, in the world. Uh, so it's not that you wake up in the morning and say, oh, okay, let's do something strange. The new that makes sense is something that makes sense. So it comes from the society, uh, a designer can get it uh, better than others, but um, yes, as you said, what does it mean you? Mm. Celia Thompson. Are you doing sub subtraction Maybe or both. addition? I was, yeah, both. <laughs> That's a clear 
<laughs> short answer, I think, both. Both, eventually yeah. both. And maybe it's an occasion, this question, to talk about how this is, for, at least for me, it's a, it's a beginning. Yeah. And uh, we have time to develop subtraction, addition, any kind of collaboration. That's the beauty of it, that we don't know where we are going. We are just yeah. start working together. Right, right now, this, this show was definitely about both. But we do not want to create for ourselves a specific way of working that could that would lead to either one of these two, you know. Like, but it, we want to have also the freedom that maybe we would <coughs> do a collection which is very much everything that Muja says. But I feel very related to it, not literally the two worlds sliding together. And it might be the other way around. For us, it's very important that we do keep the freedom how we perceive our own mm -hmm. uh, way of working and how we then transport our own and, way and of working and it can be in very different ways. And absolutely react to what is happening because for sure fashion is about reacting to reality. So mm. there are moments that need some, other moment another one. Let's see. Coffee. Me I love this question. Me hot water. <laughs> My mother told me, first hot water and after breakfast. That's true, yeah. Apparently it's very I'm bad. healthy. Me, I'm <laughs> bad. Coffee and the rest of the day, Coca Zero. That's pretty bad. John, thank you for the nice question. <laughs> yes. <laughs> for once, easy. <laughs> <laughs> what is the Pradhanes? You should say, other people should say, I am doing it, so I don't know how to uh, answer. Uh, no. I guess you now wonder what I think. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> well, we do actually talk about this very often. I mean, I talk about it very often because I also keep talking to the team and to Mucha about me being also still the outsider and looking at the company. Ah, like that's very important. Watching, watching what, what, or like still, I still try to keep on thinking about how do I see the Prada company? Like, how have I seen Prada company for, for forever, the Prada brand, and what does it actually mean? And specifically, how do I perceive it? So in that sense, for many, many years, 25, maybe even more years, before I even started my own brand, so more than 25 years, I've, already, I've always seen it as a very kind of uh, a community that's, that, that has a very um, specific attitude, intellect, aesthetic, and I, that is the, the one thing that you can't really define is what it is, but you feel it, it is, it exists, it's there, it's present, it's clearly there. And I think that's a very important thing for me. It's also what I like very much about fashion brands. And, and I think most people in the world know out of previous talks and interviews that I am very specific and I like very little brand, a very little amount of brands. And that is what a brand needs to have for me to love it. So the Ness is what it needs to have. Thank you. I'm a 10 year old girl. I love fashion design, especially Prada and Miu Miu. I want to be a fashion designer and I am passionate. What advice would you recommend to keep me on my path? Thank you. Well, then is my moment to say, study, <laughs> study, study. <laughs> Learn, watch movies. <laughs> Uh, watch art, read literature, and learn that uh, a piece of clothing serves uh, the, uh, the rule of making you live better. So it's for you and it's for your life. So it's not an abstract, an abstract job. The result of my job is that people with my clothes probably feel, feel a bit better, they can mm. live a, a bit better, so it has to be useful. Mm and help define your personality, even if you want to change, one day you want to be somebody, one day you want to be somebody else, depends on the occasion. So really think about that is this an instrument for your life. Both Prada and Raf Simons have always been interested in the idea of uniforms, true and metaphorical ones. What are your personal uniforms that you wear and what would you say is the uniform of this new Prada? Rico, I am very happy with this question. 
because actually we didn't talk about it yet, but I think the thing I've talked most about with New Job through all these months was uniforms. Not uniforms as how we literally kind of perceive it when we hear the word, not the army uniform, police uniform or something, but effectively true metaphorical ones. So I think it's almost not even uh, necessary to talk about it because you just saw the show and I think like the whole first part of the show is very much about that. Um, but I think your question is more about what are your personal uniforms that you wear and what would you say is the uniform of this new Prada? Well, the, the one from the new Prada you just seen. Personally, I talked a lot with Nuja about how Nuja dresses very often. It's very often a kind of uniform, one yes. way or another. And that was an instant, important, uh, direct inspiration for me for the show. My personal uniform is um, usually quite simple. Black pants, Prada, not because I work here since 10 years, more and a shirt, shirt out of the pan. I think that's always the same. Then I have in shoes probably a kind of, for one, two years I feel this and then suddenly I switch to something completely different. But I think what we want to say about uniforms is that it's interesting if you know that you can find something from which you know that you feel good in and you know that you express what you want to express without it being too much of a very a specific fashion item in in whatever moment in time. Like a uniform needs to also express something that is more timeless for me than Absolutely. a season specific fashion item. It's, it's a base almost, it's something to... I personally go from one uniform to another one because there is something that I like and uh, now my last love is a white pleated cotton skirt and a blue sweater. <laughs> and I don't know how long it will go on. But at some point I change, I go into another one. Yeah. But I love the idea of uniform. I said it many times for different reasons why I like them. It's very personal, I think, a uniform. Yes. Like we as designers, we can kind of offer a base. Like a uniform, I see it as us being able to offer a base. I think for, for, for one person, an, uh, Prada, the Prada t-shirt with a little triangle in the back is the uniform, you know, either white or black. For another person, black, white. For another person, <laughs> it might be uh, just the idea that the pen is always, for, I'm very much like that. My pen and my shirt is kind of always neutral the same, but then I can do whatever on top that might be much extreme, especially coats, coats, give me coats as much as possible. <laughs> so, but still stays a uniform. So I would never really go out and have suddenly a strange pen or a very high fashion pen with a very high fashion, uh, other item and another item on top. So the, 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 the idea of uniforms is very based on, on the idea of an, 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 uh, yeah, like a basic shape almost, you know, like yes. a kind of... And something a, you feel A base, well, almost like the, 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 you know, like the start of a, of a building is under the ground. And I think And that for is me, basically something that feel you, make you feel able to think, not doesn't have to distract you. Yeah. You have to feel well, so you are able to think. Do you think your interpretation of the future of what is to come, especially the interpretation by you is it? Can I answer? I can answer, yeah. You start. I, I prefer they always come from a collective subconscious for me, but it's a very personal thing because I like to, to not only think as that it is a, something that I only feel because then it would feel already not right to me because what I do is about, I hope with what I do that it has impact enough for other people to agree with it, to join it, to have uh, this kind of um, interaction. And so it's automatically something which is collective. And I think the nature of, of, of us working together also proves that now. You know, sometimes it starts with your, it starts with yourself, of course, but it can go quickly to your friend or your team. But it's also very much towards you, towards the audience. This, this collective is very important for me. Yes, o also for me, absolutely. Uh, I always think that the designer is good if he, with his ideas and his job, his, his clothes, um, 
can co connect to, the, to other people. So the more you are connected in reality with the reality and with people, the more your job makes sense. So for me, this is a fundamental issue. I always wanted to do something that was meaningful to people and to be meaningful to people, because there are also there are so many, you, you have to be connected to people from what you read, from what you learn, from what you discuss. So the more you are connected in reality with the world, the more probably your job is interesting. Mm. So that is, I, I'm happy that you think the same. For me, it's mm. a fundamental point of my job. It's also important for me always that it is uh, right in the moment in time, that it's right at the moment that you're doing it. I, I, I remember I had Absolutely. a discussion a long time ago with the designer who said, yeah, and you know, it didn't work for me, and you know, I did it already like 15 years ago, and I said, but it's, it's important that you do it in the moment in time that it's relevant. It's this kind of information or aesthetic or whatever you bring out, it only makes sense when it, makes, when it works in the moment in time. And, and probably the same idea into different moments says different things, so that's mm. also interesting. This is a suggestion, so mm. we can repeat and see how things that we did are answering question of today. Then they tell us that this is our last uh, question. I have to say that I, I enjoyed it very much. So to start uh, my new adventure with him in this way, everything is new, thank him. <laughs> so mm. I really enjoyed it and thank you to all of you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching the show and thank you for sending questions and have a nice day.